Hey guys, just thought I'd run you through how to use regular expressions um, with variables in them in JavaScript. So uh, the other day I had a job where I had a commerce separated value file, CSV file. So say this is a distilled version of it. So here's a string like a value, colon, and then the URL in this case, comma, a value, colon, the URL. So it's a very predictable um, type of format. And uh, I needed to parse the string and to grab the URLs out in this case um, and put them uh, on the page, basically. Uh, so um, I, I initially created a regular expression which, which would explicitly look just between website and sound, SoundCloud here um, for URL and then repeat it for here. But obviously, I'm creating a bit of a pattern here. Um, so I realized if I could find a way to generically specify the start string and the end string, I could grab whatever's in the middle here in a predictable way. So basically I needed variables in a regular expression. So to do that is um, pretty straightforward. You can use the reg, eg, reg exp object and um, instantiate it with, with a string, where in my case a string is whatever you want to start the beginning of the regular expression with, the, the match, so in this case it's website, uh, with the colon, a space, and then in brackets I want to capture whatever um, the value is there, which is a URL, followed by um, before the comma and then a space, followed by, in this case, SoundCloud. So essentially this function just will take over here uh, the website um, for the beginning, it's the word SoundCloud for the end, and whatever the full string is. And that will return the URL in the middle here, um, and similarly, uh, if I want to grab the Facebook URL here, I need to pass the Facebook word string and the stage, which is Facebook stage. That should be the Facebook URL. Um, I threw in another one here just to show that if I look between this and that, uh, this should be no match and it should get none found. So if we run this code, say over here in my console, open that up a bit. So here is the code and I hit enter. We'll see it grabbed the website URL, the SoundCloud URL, the Facebook URL, and then another URL return not found. So it's just a really sweet way how to use variables in um, regular expressions. Uh, it'll save a bit of um, redundant code I would say. And I hope that helps. Any questions let me know. Thanks.